I printed this miniature two years ago on a 2K printer in resin. And this one I just printed now on a brand new 12K printer, the Saturn III from Elego. And here's a match to help us. You look at both models on a microscope and the difference is nuts. The pixels here are quite big, 50 microns. Even so, you need 20 of them to make one millimeter. And here, the pixels are way smaller, 20 microns. Pixels are still visible, but barely. They kind of fuse together. I was so impressed. I had dinner with a friend and I put both pieces in front of him. Man, check the sharpness of this piece. He looked closely at both and said, You mean this one, right? I see more details. Right here, look at the texture. That one is flat. That's fascinating, because in the original model this area is indeed flat, but the Minecraft effect of a lower resolution made this look more detailed and textured on places where the model is actually plain. That's why I don't like to compare resin printers using RPG characters or dragons, because the more crusted, rusted, twisted, clothy, leathered, wrinkled, aged the model is, the more spectacular they look on any resolution. So I want to understand exactly what changes when we move away from 2K, 4K or even 8K and start printing on a 12K resin printer. By the way, big thanks to Elegoo for sending the Saturn 3 for me to review. The differences between the Saturn 2 and Saturn 3 are not just the resolution. I'll talk about them later in this video. If I put these three rooks together in front of you and ask you to compare the text here at the top, you wouldn't need a microscope and everybody would say the same thing. This is good. This is better. And this is even better because we are all trained to look for the same patterns when it comes to letters. We are not distracted by light or textures. It is just the shape. So for text, more resolution always looks better. The improvement can be clearly seen even from the Saturn 2 to the Saturn 3. And if you anti-alias, text gets so perfect. But the biggest difference can be seen easily at naked eye in all models, especially where there are no details at all. As I said, pixels are so tiny here that the transition from one voxel to the next one is shaved out and it finally looks pretty much like injection molded. So smooth, in the best way, not blurred. The result is that the surface stopped looking frosted or matte and it now looks shiny, almost polished. This is very good news for people that paint their miniatures and even better for people that use castable resins to make jewelry. If you don't paint your prints, this shiny, polished surface is quite different than what people are used about resin. My wife tells me that this looks like stone and this looks very much like plastic. To me, this more reflective surface makes the actual details pop out. I love it. She doesn't. So, to me, resolution is a no-brainer. The higher the resolution, the better. Unless you make a mistake. This deer is the test model that came with the Proxima 2K, printed at 50 microns. On the Saturn 3, the pixels are so small, it doesn't even look 3D printed. But I made a mistake, I overexposured a little bit and this fine mesh got a bit thicker. So when you see both side by side at naked eye, the mesh that looks thinner seems more delicate and anyone would say, oh, this piece has more details. So you really need to test every resin on a new printer because a thicker print looks bloated and less sharp. So it is inevitable, you will always print a bunch of exposure tests like this or this. And the cones of calibration are telling me that I still need to reduce my exposure time, which is nice because you will be printing faster too. I also printed this famous bust modeled by David Eastman, but very tiny at 15%. It is so tiny and yet so perfect. I took this super macro photo and if you zoom in a lot, you can see the layer lines. Magnified like this, it almost looks like FDM printed if you had a 20 microns nozzle. I printed it again with a 0.02 layer height and on the microscope it looks even better. 
But our eyes are very silly, because the black piece looks far crisper and sharper than the gray one. So I took the gray one and spray painted it black. Oh no, it was an opaque paint. It looks velvet now. And on the microscope, it is bizarre. At 30%, this looks like an amazing chess piece. So when people say that any pixel size that is smaller than 30 microns, you don't actually see it with your eyes anymore, it's kind of true. But it doesn't mean that you cannot notice the effects. So surfaces get different. And anti-aliasing gets way more effective on such small voxel size. And I'll make a bet here. If we ever manage to have 10 microns or less, the surface of the resin prints will go pretty much glossy. And that will be amazing for painting and amazing for jewelry. So I want more. The higher the resolution, the better. I guess I will separate the comparison between the Saturn 2 and Saturn 3 on a separate video that I will put here in just a few days. So subscribe and thank you so much for watching.